We're excited to cook with Hathorne Restaurant this morning. Really excited. Yeah, it's a new restaurant in Sylvan Park. Good food, great vibes. John, David, uh, John Stevenson is sharing one of the recipes with us this morning. And it's, I wish they had TVs that you could smell through because this is fantastic. This is really great. Okay, we were having a beet discussion. I'm <laughs> really super intimidated of beets because I just don't know how to cook them. Well, I can juice them, but I don't know how to cook them. Yeah, you're uh, you're in good company. Beets are kind of 50-50. Some people love them, some people hate them. Yes. My mom is is in the hate crowd, and oh, she, really? she thinks they taste like dirt. They're too earthy. <laughs> uh, so we get that a lot. But okay. today we're going to be using a golden beet, which is not as uh, common as the red beet, but they are very available. Okay. And that's going to have a lighter taste. Beets like are, are they under uh, misunderstood? Because when I think of beet, I'm like, nah, but uh, people love them. Well, I mean, they've they've kept many populations alive for a long time, okay. yes. especially in Europe, but uh, they're really healthy for you. Uh, and if right. you cook them right, they can taste really good. Most people have them boiled or some other way. Today we're going to be salt roasting the golden beets, and so that gives them a beautiful flavor. It's a light color, and they have a sweeter, lighter taste than oh, a red beet. Salt so. roasting. Okay, so you've got the golden beets. Yep. You've got them. Here's just, the golden beet. Beet? Do you just have it in salt? It's just a golden beet. Okay. You want to find a, a container that's not much bigger than the beet so you don't waste the salt. Okay. You put about a quarter inch of salt in the bottom of the pan. Mm -hmm. You're going to take the beet and you're going to slice off the end. Oh. And just slice yeah. off the end there. Place that cut side down. You're going to put that in the oven at 350 for about an hour and a half. Something oh, like that, okay. Essentially. And so yes. while you're doing that, yeah. what we're pairing these beets with is a grilled green onion and tahini puree. Mm. So while the beets are in the oven, you can mm -hmm. take your green onions and you okay. want to get a, a grill pan. Outside grill is even better, but we have a grill pan Super here today. Super hot, right? Super hot. What you're looking for is some char on the, you know, Ooh, some little bit of char very on the pretty. green, green yeah, onions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that happens while you're doing that. Okay. Um, and then. You're going to place your grilled green onions mm -hmm. over here in your... Food processor, yep. which is the whole thing. You can put the whole thing in there. Yep, you can put the whole thing in here. You're going to add out. your tahini. What is tahini? Tahini is a sesame... Uh, sesame seed puree, essentially. Oh. It's one of the main ingredients in hummus, and this is essentially a type of hummus. Okay. Um, you know, it's, it's hummus without the chickpeas in it. Okay. Uh, and it just, grilling the onions really gives it a real savory, kind of smoky flavor. Now, tahini has the texture of a peanut butter almost. Yes, yeah, it's very, yeah. very, and it's used in, mm -hmm. in a lot of ways like that. I really uh, like that, very nice. Uh, so this is really easy. It's olive oil, it's mm -hmm. lemon juice, it's a little salt, it's a little bit of water. And you know, follow the recipe, of course. But yeah. you're, you're going to put this in your food processor, and do it. Boom, boom, boom. Might not work. Maybe it'll work. Anyway, the food processor yeah. will go on, and you'll end up with something that looks a little bit like Magic this. Magic TV. Yeah. We yes. have it done. So that's boom. A, this is also it's working now, John. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You guys have it. That's perfect. That's so exactly good. how yeah, we do it at the so restaurant. Let's see what it looks like. If you need a job, come on down. <laughs> I might. Right. I'll hook you up on that. Man. So, so, pretty. so it's a great dip. Also, okay. not just for this dish. You can use it for chips or anything else. It goes nice. really good, great on everything. Okay. So that's happened, and then your beets have come out of the oven. Mm -hmm. They're going to look more like that. Okay. And then you're going to be able to take a paper towel after they've cooled down a bit. Paper towel or something, and you're just going to rub <gasps> the skin off. Well, look at that. So you just pull it right off. Isn't that nice? And then you've got that. Then you end up with something I that looks a little bit like that. I sincerely thought these were peaches. Yeah, no, they look like peaches. <laughs> they, they really did. I they, mean, they certainly have a little sweetness to them. Beautiful. But, uh, uh, if you were looking for peaches, I think you'd probably be disappointed in the beets, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, you okay. never know. Uh, beautiful. Now, we're going to show some pictures of the beautiful new restaurant that you okay. had in Sylvan Park. Fantastic. Here Ooh. it is, everybody. Um, Sylvan Park is exploding right now. So many people are coming in, so many amazing places. You're open. Tell everybody when they should come by and see you. Are you doing lunch or just dinner? We're just doing dinner okay. six nights a week right now. We open at 5 p.m. Yeah. Uh, Monday through Saturday. Okay. We do a uh, happy hour from 5 to 6.30. We also have something called Joyful Hour, which is our oh. late, late night happy hour, which we run on Thursday nights from 10 to 11.30. So we're going to be doing some um, special menus, bar menus. We're going to have some special drinks for that. So if you're out later than 10 p.m. in West like Nashville, it. which is rare, so it's kind of a sleepy <laughs> sleepy village over there. We like to get to bed early. Uh, we like to get to bed early. Yeah, come on by. Joyful and Hour. I Joyful do love. Hour is All right, nice. I'm going to I'm going to let you plate up some okay. of those for us and Great. show us how beautiful it is. Fantastic. Just and I'll have one my of the dishes there. Resume for you by the end of the show today. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> please do. Food He's processor looking guy. for a side hustle. Absolutely. That's what he's doing. That's we also, we also do brunch. Uh, oh, you do? We also do brunch on Sunday at 10, oh. 10 a.m., and we have a lot of really beautiful 
really beautiful. I like Thanks the joy flower, well. John. Thank joy you, buddy. Flower is beautiful. Here, I'll put that over there, and I'll and show you there. And boom! Look at that. There Woo! we go. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> this recipe is on today at Nashville.com. John, thank you, buddy. Absolutely, I'm take my a pleasure. Taste, thank you so much. Because I do love a good beet, and as we said, it's got incredible um, antioxidants, good things in it for you. Oh, so. Gorgeous. So we've also solid. used some red beets a little bit. We've made some chips with the red nice. beets. Give it a little crunch, a little Thank texture, and um, bring in a little bit of flavor. Thank you, John. Oh, 